What's up everyone? It's Broads. I want to say a few things before the video actually starts. This is me from the future coming to lay down a few notes about this video. I'm going to yap a lot about a bunch of current subjects in the SAR community. Some of them are just factual because it's statistics of the state of the game. Other things are completely my opinion and it's okay if you have a vastly different opinion than I do. I also want to let you know that at the end of this video, I'm going to change some information because new things have come out literally today after I had already recorded this video. So I'm going to leave some updated uh, thoughts and opinions at the end of the video as well. Make sure you watch the video fully before dropping some comments down below. Last thing I want to say is all this comes from love in my heart. I love this community. I love the people. I love the friendship and the memories that I've made. And all of this is just to have a tough conversation about what needs to happen in order to keep this game alive. I appreciate you guys for listening to this long intro and let's get right to the video. Guys, Super Animal Royale is dying and we need to talk about it. This video is going to be a little bit different. There's going to be no challenges, no gameplay, no competitive replays from events. We're going to be talking about the state of the game and what needs to happen in this big season 11 pass, the season 11 change to save the game, because frankly, it's dying. We're going to go over the statistics of why it's dying, and we're going to try to figure out some of the things that need to change as soon as possible to bring this game back in all aspects or there's going to be no one left and we're all going to be moving on to different communities. Let's take a look. I decided not to write a script for this video, so we're going to be spitballing a lot of these topics. I really just wanted to be able to speak from my head and from my heart. And I know that we're going to have some tough conversations. This is going to be a grim conversation. We're talking about a death of a community that we all love. But I kind of want to show you guys some of the background and that I really, really care about this game. And I came into this community and over just about a year and three months, I have amassed 500 hours streamed in Super Animal Royale, um, 16,000 hours watched, 190 uh, streams, uh, about two and hours and 50 minutes per stream. I've done 24 hour streams where Sari has taken an eight hour portion of that. I've hosted $5,000 worth of tournaments. I've given away multiple thousands of dollars in the super editions and the starter packs. And I don't wanna feel like that money went to waste. I want to see that money continue to get recycled and put back into the community uh, for the love of it, for um, the building of person-to-person uh, -person relationships. And so I just wanted to start it by looking um, at my stats personally and why I feel like I need to talk about this, the season 11 uh, changes coming up. So this is my stat line for streaming the game for the last year and four months. And um, now we're gonna get into some of the other stat lines before we talk about some of the things that we need to see in season 11 to sort of uh, revive the community. Uh, first, I wanted to start with the Steam charts. Now we have to remember when we look at Steam charts, Steam isn't everything because we do have players that play in the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox, as well as the PlayStation. Uh, but what we can see here is we are at a all time low peak players over the last four years. We have uh, never had lower average players or lower peak players in the game in the last four years. So it is getting scary. We're about half of what we were in 2022. And um, the peak players are getting lower and lower by day. You can see we are trending red in every month that a new season does not drop or that a uh, Twitch drops does not drop in october we had the halloween twitch drops which you see a little bit of uh player boost and i think that's just from more people going to watching streams when they watch streams they want to hop into games with them or custom games or whatever so you see a little bit of player peak in december we saw a that was the last new pass that we had received with the season 10 pass and so we saw a little bit of increased uh, playership that we hadn't even seen that much in uh 2023 as a whole higher than may higher than june higher than august higher than november higher than october so december was a good month but it went drastically uh downhill when the freshness of the december season uh stopped so we are um, not going to look at this into this too much, but obviously you can see that we are trending down in red and literally since the beta of the game, we have not seen these numbers. Now let's go into some deeper numbers that actually really matter. And first we are going to start, by the way, this is on twitchtracker.com slash, um, games and super animal rail is game 509,529. If you want to look at these stats yourself. But um, in the years of 2023 and into 2024, there has never been lower viewership in the um, SAR community. So in 
most of 2023, we're seeing 100 to 200 viewers uh, with peaks above 1K every single um, month to now we are in the red every single month except for last month because of the big VTuber event that brought in some streamers that the um the community has never seen before but still if you're peaking at these numbers from 2023 the mid-year 2023 to these numbers now we can't even get over 100 current viewers in the um, star category on average so what are some of the reasons for the viewership dropping well nothing new has really been coming to the game at all the last time that we have seen gameplay changes in super animal royale was july 11th 2023 with the addition of the super right lasers as well as the zip and goes how long has that been 302 days since we have seen a gameplay change um that is crazy for any game um and the reason being is they've said that they've been putting all of their work into this big season 11 change and that we just need to be patient and wait through the delays and um huge things will be coming we're going to talk about what we need to see from that for a second but let's keep going with these stats um next current uh concurrent streams the amount of people streaming the game from month to month and what we could see is the average streamers in every single month of 2023 we're 12 plus and coming into 2024 we are starting to head in the red with less and less streamers 50 50 37 55 75 to now we can't even break 35 to 40 to 50 streamers streaming at the same time or even an average we are dipping fewer and fewer streamers into the game looking 2023 to 2024 hours watch we just once again see a sea of red it's this is terrifying you should be terrified to look at these stats there's less people streaming the game there's less people watching the game there's less people playing the game than ever before in the history of sar look at these we were 60k even at the beginning of this year and in the last month we had 14,000 hours watched the least watched month in the history of this game let's go back as far as we can and find another um, month that only had 14k or less Dude, 2018 was the last time that we had under 14K viewers. Oh gosh, guys, if this better not be sitting right with you. We have less people streaming the game than ever. 24 people concurrent, peak 10 average, less people playing the game. It is getting scary. It is getting scary. And look, it's only people, the only reason why we are in the green for example, for the uh, concurrent viewers just for last month is because all these VTuber crossovers that are coming over and playing the game for the first, second, or third time. Like, look at this. Who is this? So 70 people watching and they stream Teamfight Tactics, Valorant, Core Keeper. They have zero hours on Super Animal Royale. Let's see. Is that 1.7 hours? one hour played into super animal royale and that is the only thing keeping this game above water is random vtubers coming and trying the game for the first time in vtuber crossover events we shouldn't have to rely on people randomly stumbling across the game or people like wheezy jacket carrying us by going to bigger uh, vtuber communities and collabing with them on sar it just should not be that way so let's talk about one more thing before we uh look at our list of things that need to happen in season 11. Now, season 10 was released on December 12th, 2023, which was 148 days ago from today. Now, we had been used to seeing um, those seasons every three months, almost exactly three months uh, till we get a new pass. Now it has been 148 days since the last season. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. What does that look like month to month? So one, two, three, four. We are pushing in four days, it will be five months since we have had a new season. So they've been promising huge things to come. And so let's look at some of those things that I personally think that would need to happen to save viewership, to save the average player base, and to freshen things up for the long term. All of the things that I believe that need to happen here um, to continue this game past 2024, because at this point, if the numbers keep declining by 10% every single month, 
by December of 2024, there will be no more Super Animal Royale. It will be unsustainable and they will have to shut down. Um, but let's go ahead and look over all of the things that I think needs to happen to at least keep the game afloat, if not grow it. One, there has to be major map changes. I'm talking about not adding a super sea land in the corner of the map that nobody plays. I'm talking about six core elements, seven core elements, or complete map rework needs to happen. And that would bring some insane new freshness to the day-to-day -day game. I think we need multiple gun additions. You have had so many amazing ideas given to you in the feedback channel. It's time to really jump on some of those and bring uh, new weapons that people can grind white skins for, uh, that people could want to maybe get on a leaderboard for, and to overall just add new play styles and new loadouts. You have to make sure that the Season 11 Pass is one of the best that you've ever dropped. People that re people really enjoyed the Season 10 Pass, but I think you need to overdo that in order to um, make people cosmetically happy past the next one month. Uh, you need to bring back Twitch Drops. The last Twitch Drops was in October, and we saw that led to one of the biggest game boosts that we had seen in the entire year of 2023. Um, Twitch Drops is one way that you can... I believe, continue to save the game because here's what it does. It brings people who normally don't watch Twitch onto Twitch. They happen to a viewer stream and have the opportunity to, to join a part of a community and community is what makes or breaks a game. If people don't want to be in community, if they just want to hop on the game once every six months, then that is how Super Animal Royale disappears. But if there is a community that they invest in, that they come by to play squads with, that they join their silly community hide and seek event days, that is what keeps people coming back to the category and that's why i that's where i see the value of twitch drops um marketing is such a weird topic because i don't think it exists for super animal royale i have never um seen the game marketed anywhere ever not reddit not youtube not any shared space nothing never um and when we have been doing things like the alphabet duos almost everyone has been uh, word of mouth how they got to the game word of mouth or maybe in 2018 they saw it from a new games forum but we're kind of running out of mouths to tell other people about this game so it's starting to get scary need a new marketing scheme scheme you have been so sar tonight finished before i even started playing the game in january of 2023 and you guys have been promising that it was coming back and this is another example of a awesome community idea that you guys have completely killed that for some reason almost two years later has still not been brought back it has to come back as soon as possible and next you need to have super content creators that are uh diving weekly hours into the game because those are your faces of the game so you need your faces to be present uh, i think johnny kim was a great pickup it is very sad about what happened to them with the korea twitch shutdown um, but I think you need to go twos at a time. And personally, I'm going to tell you right now who my next two picks for SAR should be. It needs to be Deli SYS and it needs to probably be Setsuna Wolf. Uh, those are two characters that have absolutely uh, spent their time and poured their heart and love into this communi community for uh, several years now. And they have both been a help of spreading the game to new people, but also keeping the community that you have entertained. And I think that they deserve the recognition and I know that they would be good faces for the game. Um, now, you see that some of them has have these uh, asterisks, these little stars around them. These are the things that I think need to happen on the first month release of Season 11. If we do not, at the bare minimum, get multiple map changes, multiple gun additions, a great pass, and SAR tonight within the first month, I think it's actually doomed. It has been 302 days since gameplay updates, you guys have had 148 days to work on the season 11 pass. It is getting scary. It is crunch time. I don't care if you have to delay the season another 100 days. If it does not have, have at least these things, it is actually doomed. People have given you so many amazing ideas, once again, in the feedback chat for gun additions, for cosmetic additions, for themes, for map changes, for map additions, for map recreations. You have to follow through. It's 148 days. If there isn't a single gameplay change, I promise you this game is dead before August. 
Sar, I'm gonna say it with my full chest. It absolutely breaks my heart, but I believe that Super Animal Royale will be dead by August if we don't see at least a few map changes, at least one gun or multiple gun changes, a great season 11 pass, and the follow through of returning Sar tonight. These are all things that need to happen to not be able to keep your core community that have kept coming back, even though it has been 302 days and 148 days coming back, but also bringing those return players who have not played since 1,000, 2,000 players, 2021, 2022, when they hear of a re completely refreshed map, completely all new weapon set, completely all new any of those things that is what's going to bring these players back these are some of the things that i think need to happen this year i need there has to be some sort of marketing i know it's a small indie company this isn't fortnite we're not bringing billy eilish into super animal royale but there has to be something that can be done other than word of mouth um and let me tell you my ultimate dream let me tell you my ultimate dream that I feel like could save SAR for the next three years. Let me tell you my ultimate dream. I didn't even write this down because I know it's not going to happen. If we had a North American and European Twitch rivals for Super Animal Royale, a duos format where you had one popular streamer, partnered streamer with Twitch, with one Super Animal Royale respectable CC, and you do a duos tournament officially hosted by Twitch Rivals in collaboration with Super Animal Royale, I think this could be one of the coolest ideas that could ever happen to the game. Imagine watching someone, I'm not even gonna say the biggest names, I'm not even gonna say Jinxie or Kai Sinat, let's say, Summit 1G. Imagine watching Summit 1G and Chef, Chef Stitch play duos together in Super Animal Royale. Imagine Tim the Tatman coming on some sort of deal with Twitch Rivals to try out this 2D Battle Royale game with Broads but Goats because they're both bald and that would be hilarious. Imagine some awesome Twitch streamers being a part of a Twitch Rivals tournament that are coming to the game for this collab and it is official SAR tournament and it could be a great, the biggest way ever that we have seen new eyes come on the game rather than a one-off VTuber coming to the game for a one-time playthrough. This is my absolute dream. It's never gonna happen, um, but that is the ultimate way that I could see uh, people coming to the game and staying on the game. But um, these are the bare minimum changes. One last thing, TLDR, if you don't want to listen to Broad's yap from the top of his brain with no script, here's everything that has just been said in a 60 second sum up. I have played this game for a year and four months. I feel like I've put up some respectable stats, 31 average viewers over 190 streams, 530 hours streamed, $5,000 given to the communities through uh, deluxe giveaways, through starter pack giveaways, and through community and competitive day events. Um, SAR hasn't seen a gameplay change since the addition of the zipline in the super right laser in patch 1.9, which was 302 days ago. It has been 148 days since the season 10 pass was released. The last things that we have heard is that there is a new season coming, that it was going to be huge. Everything has been so, so secretive. There has been no new information given. The only thing that we have been told is that there is a delay and that we just need to continue to be patient, but we're seeing the core audience of Super Animal Royale becoming more and more unrestless. The player base is lowering, the viewer base is lowering, the streamers are lowering. Everyone is moving on to bigger and better things because our time has not been well managed and our attention has not been kept. I freaking love Super Animal Royale. I do not care what you tell me. I do not care what you say. I love this game and you're not gonna gaslight me into believing I don't. The only reason I'm saying all of this is because I care and I wanna see the game survive past this year. I don't care if me giving my opinions, if me positively giving criticism about this game ruins my chances for Super CC like I've been really grinding hard for in the last year. I do not care. The game needs to survive. And these are some of the ways that I believe it needs to happen. It, we, I swear, dude. Here's, hold on. 
if we waited 200 days, because I don't know how much, how many days until season 11 is going to drop, to find out that we waited two extra months for a new season for it to be a normal cosmetic pass and a friends list in game, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry if we saved five months with no gameplay changes for nine months. No, 10 months. Oh my gosh. It's almost been a year since the gameplay change. Okay, I'm just yapping at this point. 60 seconds done. I love you guys. I love the Star community. I love my fellow CCs. S big things need to happen in season 11. I hope that they've been grinding. I hope that uh, we can continue to be patient, even if we are feeling a little restless and all racking our brains about the bare minimum that can be done to save the game. I hope that um, our patience is rewarded and I hope that it is not another three to six months and that it will happen, like they said, in a quarter or two in the next two months. I appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for coming to Bro's Yep session, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace out. No, 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 Bro's. We're not done yet because as of today, new information has come out in a dev blog talking about how SAR has won it once again become an indie company and talking about some of the big evolutionary things coming in season 11. One of the amendments I want to make to some of these prior comments before this knowledge is the SAR tonight section. I said that the SAR tonight has to come back within one month of this new release because it is a community builder and a staple. And um, we are already seeing that information coming out that SAR tonight will be back promptly with this new drop. They once again have given more vague information about timelines as well as additions to the game. But for now, we can be happy that one of those additions that I already had asterisked around has already been met and we will just have to continue to play the waiting game and see what else they cook up this season. Positive information though from my eyes and now is going to be the true end of the video. Peace out.